Hi, what are you doing? It's Thursday. Well, that's I, I, uh, I'm not used to it's uh, Thursdays. I spent a long time last night thinking it was Friday night. And then I spent a long time this morning thinking today was also Friday. And, um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm all over the place. I can hear on the other side of my door here. I don't think the microphone's picking it up. I can hear my daughter running around in circles singing uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And, uh, yeah, that's the kind of, that's the kind of energy. It's kind of energy we're bringing into the morning. High powered. Um, yeah. So gosh, um, WWE 2K23 is out. I guess it's only out if you bought the expensive versions of the game and otherwise it's out, I think, well, tonight or tomorrow, whatever it is. Um, and I thought we would take a look at that. I don't think, uh, well, look, well, look, it's a, another wrestling game. Um, but I always, I always like going through the, um, the user created, uh, stuff. And of course I like going through the roster, but unfortunately the last couple of years they have done away with the, the polygonal renders on the character select screen. And so judging the model quality has become way more difficult than it used to be, which is, uh, which is sad, but, um, but you know, we can take a look at, uh, a few kind of key things over the, the course of the roster. And why don't we just get into it? Why don't we just get into it? Hey, why don't we just get into it? Um, let's fire this up and then we'll go over here. Is my camera going to be all messed up? Because I, I feel like I, I I have been butchering my OBS scenes for... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Working as intended. Um, I, yeah, I, I have, I have been, been butchering my OBS scenes in favor of uh, a lot of... Um, one-off things about like oh i gotta do this because i'm in the garage i'm gonna do this because you know um and, and all that so i never know what's working i it's, it's the sort of thing you should probably check before you start a stream but i mean why start now together together that's what if i think about the wwe it's togetherness they bring people together they bring Vince McMahon together with everyone else backstage as he shows up with his mustache and says, what do you mean? What happened? What? No, I'm no, this, this is my company. Why wouldn't I be here? Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. If you're watching this on an archive, I don't know what's going to happen because uh, all this music obviously is extremely licensed. So So let's see. Um, I guess why don't we do a wrestling? Let's make a wrestling happen here. It's just a regular one-on-one -on -one match. Let's see what this. I'm curious to see what this looks like. I haven't. I haven't tried it yet. I just, I just went and downloaded a bunch of stuff out of the uh, user creation uh, area to see kind of what would happen there um hmm. in the game by the way they put him in the game these are decisions they had to make probably around the time that all of that stuff was going on with him and the decision was made. No, yeah, keep, yeah, keep put him. Yeah, of course, put him in the game. Ah, yes. Gosh, uh, I don't know. Let's let's look at the other user created stuff. Let's see if there's anything. Let's 
some pretty rough looking user created stuff early on. It's it's been a little it's been a little uh yeah, Goldberg 04. There we go. It's a championship match, I guess. Yeah, for the yeah. Is Logan Paul really part of this roster? Yes. WWE superstar Logan Paul will be wrestling at WrestleMania. I can't. I got to turn this down. It's making me crazy. The scariest, the, the, like, the craziest thing about Logan Paul being involved with wrestling is that in the few matches he's had so far, he's actually done quite well. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Championship! Oh, that's cool that you can create the cop ent or that the cop entrance is an option. I wonder if Goldberg is in the game and this is just an alternate. If someone created like an alternate look for him, that's probably what happened. He seems like he would be on the roster to the game anyway. Is that Justin Roberts? For yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I guess it is, huh? So why show the announcer's face? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at the creation tools myself to see, like, if there's just, like, cases where they included themes and entrances and stuff that's obviously meant to be used for specific people. But, uh, but that they, you know, maybe don't have the people in there. That would always happen. It's like someone leaves, but you're like, oh, if you look through the creation tools, all of this person's moves are still in the game. Like everything Daniel Bryan would have done as a WWE character is still is probably still in here, but to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Big matches are where this guy thrives, and competing for that title is about as big as it gets. It's a pretty good looking, I mean, for like user created tools, it's a pretty fucking good looking MJF, I gotta say. Some weird stuff on the sides of his face, but... I think the profile looks a little weird. Yeah, this is the PC version of the game. Can we add this? Yeah, is there, is there like a spray tan wand that you can use on the characters? How do I run again? There we go. Yeah, I was like, wait. Double axe handle. Oh. Kick lands. Oh, knee smashing the face. All right, let's go over here. Hit him from the. Okay, that's just the knee again, I guess, huh? Okay. All right, well, we'll just keep kicking him. He somehow has to get him. Oh, God, Goldberg. Hold in from Finley to Belly. 
Rollins out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. We've reversed it. The problem with this game, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, I think it's, it's a hard, it's probably just a hard thing to do, right? Like, the, to make this animation all look good and like the moves are connecting, but also to make it look like it, you are in control of it. There are just a lot of situations where, like, and, and in the tutorial where you play as uh, Xavier Woods, it's, it's kind of, most you know the most one of the more obvious things because it's just got moves where like you push a button and then it goes into an animation and it's in that animation for a few seconds and you don't always have a good indication that that's happened it's just like oh i'm moving and nothing's happening oh it's because the the attack i did is um is is part of a larger animation or whatever and it's just weird Trying to do my finisher, but I don't. If I'm near his feet, is that where it was? There. Oh. Great. Glad I did that. Like that whole thing's an animation. Like, I pushed the button to start it, but... This is all not... That's Yeah, that, none of that's me anymore. That's right. Two-star match. Suck it, Dave. So yeah, I think a lot of the other user creative stuff I've seen so far, and it's, you know, the game's been out for a couple of days, is um for <laughs> a lot of it's some a lot of it's pretty bad. Um or or not there yet, or people are just like, I'm uploading this thing on day one, but I'm still working on it. It's like, alright, well. It's not really worth using just yet. Um What other I yeah, I haven't really I haven't really gotten into what other matches I guess war games is in this. I don't know. I I just the the whole like multi person match stuff of like targeting and, and all that, I, I've just never really liked the way any of that felt, you know. Um That's yeah, extreme rules, of course. Um Oh yes, the Thunderdome. Definitely. Let's see. Who's in this game? We'll start at John Cena, I guess. Alright, John Cena, Johnny Gargano. Yeah, okay. 
Oh, it's in, I was like, wait a minute. It's, it includes your downloaded characters in this list, which I always, I always I thought was was weird. Um. Oh, and we've lost our place. Wait. Okay. We'll start at the top. Uh. All right, yeah, AJ Styles, sure. Akira Tozawa, all right. I don't know who this is. It's a lady with a bat, okay. Alexa Bliss, yeah. Taking a break from complaining on Twitter about not being used to appear in a video game. Aaliyah. I'm not sure who that is. Andre the Giant, yeah, okay. Angel, okay, right, yeah, this dude. This that's just a so bad. Just and what's your name? Angel. All right, yeah. We do. Can we do a little better. Like I had a full name, right? Yeah, Angela Dawkins. Okay, Apollo Cruz. Sure, that's a pretty good fake. Arn Anderson. Uh, they've got uh, him hair and no and no hair. I hope that there's a good alternate face Asuka in here. That'd be nice. Austin Theory gets his full name. What the fuck is an Axiom? Come on. Is this like a is this like a guy from the story mode or something? Bad Bunny. Now in Bad Bunny, I know. Yeah, Batista. Batman, of course. Bailey, we love Bailey. Becky Lynch, Beth Phoenix, okay. The boss man, yep. I could do big boss man and big E matches just all day long, man. This is, they said that uh, John Cena helped curate the soundtrack for this one, uh, which has led me to believe that John Cena has fucking awful taste in music. Uh, Bobby Lashley, the Boogie Mancher. Yeah, Booker T, why not? Ron Strowman. Must have made it in just under the wire to get back into the game, right? He hasn't been back that long. Bret Hart. Brie Bella, very timely. The British Bulldog. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar 01. Look at that little boy. And then he's like, now I've got shitty tattoos because I've, it's because it's 20 years later and shit happens, man. Ron Breaker. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I watched more NXT, I would care. But like his whole thing of, I, he, I feel like they should lean into him being a Steiner or not. Right? I don't know. This is not a real person. You're not going to convince me that this is a. Who is this? Who is this dude? Uh, that's a downloaded one. Butch, everyone's favorite. Butch. Cactus Jack. Oh, do we get all three? Mick Foley's in here. Cameron Grimes. Yeah. Carmella. Carmelo. Cedric Alexander. Sure. Chad Gable. A lot of TV time lately for Chad Gable. He's. A, he's. A, I mean. He's. I think he's great in the ring. I. I'm not the whole shoosh thing. I know that Pete the crowd seems to love it. I just. It's. It just doesn't feel like the way a person would ever behave. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Charlotte Flair. I, yeah, all right. China. Cody Rhodes. That's all right. Yeah, I guess. Well, he's been he, Cody Rhodes. It's easy to forget that Cody Rhodes actually has been back for a while and then just, was just injured for a lot of that time. Commander Aziz. I've heard the name, but okay. Is he one of the guys that was in the Raw Underground fucking awesome Shane McMahon shoot fighting league that was a uh, great television? <laughs> Some astounding fucking programming. Oh, sorry. Yes, that was dub. <laughs> um, Cora Jade. All right. Yeah. Cruz del Toro. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Go to Kai. I maintain that Damian Priest looks like a guy that is, and he, every I can't help but think this or say this every time I see him. He looks like a guy who was working the back door at an all ages club, and he is chain smoking, 
And if you know the right thing to say to him or are a girl, he will buy you alcohol. That's just the vibe I get off this dude. This guy after the show will walk up to the 7-Eleven and get you a bunch of Mad Dog 2020 because you're not 21. That's the look this guy gives gives off to me. Dana Brooke is still okay. Dana Brooke's still there. When was the last time Dana Brooke? I feel like we should have cage match open next to this and be like, when was the last time Dana Brooke was on television? With the caveat being, I don't watch any main event or whatever the other shows are. Dexter Loomis seemed like an interesting idea for a while, and then I don't know what. It just seems diesel. Now there's a now there's a wrestler. Damn it, Doink! Now we're talking. Dolph Ziggler looking determined. All right. So th we'll talk about it when we get into the we'll, we'll we'll look at it more when we get into the um the whole user created stuff. But the most downloaded thing, the most downloaded superstar in the user created library was an updated Dominic Mysterio. And so I want you to think about what that means in terms of how over is Dominic Mysterio it made me have to think of some things through and be like man yeah I guess huh I mean you know after, yeah exactly after uh, yeah prison prison Dom is, uh, is over new drop all right that's the, uh, maybe update that I don't know we love Drew Gulak, Drew McIntyre. Well, he's no Drew Gulak, that's for sure. A couple of Eddie Guerrero, a few Eddie Guerreros. Huh. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's Eddie Kingston. Um, you want mullet Eddie? We got mullet Eddie. Um, I'm just excited that through the magic of user-created technology, we can reunite the Kingstons. Uh, and and bring Eddie and Kofi back together and make them an unbeatable tag team yet again. Edge, Elias is uh, is 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 Ezekiel in this too? Why you know? Uh, yeah, okay. Eric Bischoff, sixty-four. He's like, yeah, fuck it. I mean, we'll put him in it. We're not gonna make him good. I mean, why would? The Vikings thing is some of the worst shit. I just yeah. They, they, recently, I've I've come, you know, to terms with the idea that like there was a while there six months ago or something like WWE is so much better now. It's so amazing now. It's so good now. And I'm like, as I watch more and more of it, or as I watch it every week, I'm like, hmm. no, there is one tremendous, incredibly well done storyline, and a lot of it is, or all the rest of it is kind of flat. Finn Balor. I wonder if they have Demon Finn in here. That's, well, maybe not separately, but if, I wonder if that's a option. GG Dolan. I've heard the name. I don't know. This is not a... This, what? What is it? It's Giovanni... Who is this dude? I don't, I don't know. I don't know who this dude is. Um, He's one of the Imperium guys? Okay. I just... They never say his name, <laughs> I guess. So... I, like, I believe you that he's one of the Imperium guys, but what it is? Uh, well, no, I was gonna say Luther. No, what the fuck? What the fuck is Walter's name now? Gunther, and then the other guy, Ludwig, right? Goldberg, Goldberg 04. Gotta have two Goldbergs. So you can have Goldberg versus Goldberg. We can do a War Games as many Goldbergs as we can fit in there. Grayson Waller. That's a terrible name I, I feel like a lot of the nxt guys you can uh, people you know wimp all the people in nxt you can notice by like wow these are some of the worst indie indie wrestling name slash like porn names uh i've ever seen like that's the, they all kind of fit that template in nxt uh gunther happy corbin 
Hollywood Hogan. But also Hulk Hogan 02. That's it. Those are the only those are the only Hogan's you're gonna put in there. A Hollywood and then a 2002 WWE run Hogan. All right. Humberto, sure. Hurricane, great. Dragonov, yeah. Indy Hartwell, why not? Ivar, again, the Viking thing is so, it's so bad. It's such. Yo, Sky. JC Jane. See what I mean? JC Jane. It's a, that's not a good, it's not a good name. <laughs> Jake Roberts, all right. Of course, Jay White, newly, uh, you know, of course, new, new WWE superstar. Jay White is there. JBL, JD McDonough. That's guy's face looks. The shape of that dude's face is real weird. Uh, Lawler, sure. Jay Uso, just a ninety, huh? All right. The Anvil, baby. Jimmy, yeah. Ah, oh, Jinder Mahal. Now we're talking. Joaquin Wild. See what I mean? Um, and then we're back to John Cena, Grano, Julius Creed. Okay, so I guess there are the what are the Creed brothers? Oh, this is a, this is that diamond mine thing, right? Okay. Oh, uh, it's Kane. Cool. Oh, good. Karrion Cross, who I feel like went from being a spooky dude to just being a dude over the last few months. It's just like, I don't know, like, we're going to spend a lot of time on this whole tarot card, Rey Mysterio thing, and then it's going to be this big, oh, your time is coming. And, ah. and then he just, like, fucking lost, right? <laughs> This is like, he's just some fucking guy. I think that's that's my problem with maybe some of the WWE stuff. And, you know, I think Glenn and I are really going to, we are, we are going to, in fact, start a wrestling podcast here pretty soon. But um, for all the, for the, the debuts and people are like, oh my God, Triple H, I can't believe he brought in all these guys that got cut. That's so great. Oh, Gargano's back. Great. Like they've what the fuck if they you know they're not doing shit like hey we brought in a bunch of fucking guys to fill out the fucking mid card and be involved in some really fucking shit stories <laughs> oh uh katana chance that's not a that's not a real name Caden Carter again just what. Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash NWO. Right, I guess there was... Uh, yeah, I guess he wasn't... He didn't come back as Diesel when they brought him back in. Kevin Owens. Kofi Kingston of the Kingston Brothers. Uh, Chris Statlander. Everyone's favorite. LA Knights. Hi. Not a big fan. I don't know. He's not... He's just not... Too, uh, he, he's he's like... Uh, he's got a, he's got a catchphrase. He's got... Like, he feel, I feel like he checks all the boxes... But uh, it's just not. I don't know. I don't know. He's he's I don't know. Eli Drake. You know, it was just like some lingering thing. Like when he was like, oh, what was it? He was on his way out of Impact or whatever, right? That he was giving these interviews about like intergender wrestling's the worst. Fuck that! And it was, I'm not gonna do it. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't know. It was a whole weird. I don't know. Lacey Evans sucks. Just fucking sucks. Conceptually, as like a is the is the you know is the government paying for the, it's not working. I don't know. Like they there that whole thing where they were like she's a military woman and she's a hero, it, and it just felt like they were. Taking money from the government. I don't know. What is this? Oh, is, it, is that... Is this Batista's... Is this like an old Batista gimmick? Is that what that is? Is OVW gimmick? Yeah. Because they do the Cena... You know, the, the Cena showcase. I'm sure that they do some... 
some developmental matches or something there, so they probably had to do that. Lita, but like modern Lita. Liv Morgan, I not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't really. I don't really like Liv Morgan. She's fine. She's totally except like she does well. She seems to really, really care. She seems to really, really, really care and all that. I just, it doesn't, it's not, I don't know. Logan Paul is disgustingly perfect for all of this in a way that's haunting. I don't know, scary. I don't know. I like this guy. He looks, he looks like an evil, he looks like a bad guy. He's just the hair, like the everything they've got going for him. He looks like the, like the modern take on the foreign heel, like the the hey, here's you know, yes, diehard villain, exactly, hitman, like yeah, he's got a, a look to him. Masse, this is this some of this stuff has been really fun, but I, it feels like it is maybe outlived its. Uh, this, 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 we'll see how the Otis stuff goes, I guess. Randy Savage, um, maybe, maybe my all time favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Mad Cat Moss, sure. This guy probably seems, he feels like he needs a name change. I don't know. He's not, he is not especially Mad Cat. <laughs> uh, Matt Mansoor. Yeah, all right. Maurice, why not? Yeah, Matt Riddle, I don't... Mm. It's cool when he does the thing and then he kicks his fucking slides off into the crowd. That's pretty cool. And... Yo, man, this guy likes weed. Miz does not get. Uh, I, I feel like even though we are in a you know, like the the kind of latter days of the Miz's career, ass assuming, but and um, and that uh, I think a lot of people have come around. I, I like the the Miz is still one of those guys that I feel like is like somehow like criminally underrated or or forgotten about, and I liked it when he had the world title. Um, yeah, you think, he's, you think he's got 20 years left in him? Typical dad 03 says Miz has 20 years left. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he seems like an incredibly reliable... Like, his work is solid. He fucking knows how to make the crowd fucking hate him. No matter what. Like, I think he I think he plays his role incredibly well. And, and I think that that's... Um... You know, he, he, he still gets overlooked a lot, I think. But he's, he's you know... That's a fucking top guy right there. Like you could put him in a world title thing tomorrow and you would go like, yeah, okay, I believe it. Like he's just, he, he can believably challenge for those, for those sorts of spots at any time, no matter what he's involved in at the time. I think you would always just drop him into something and, and, and you would believe him in that role. You know, he can kind of do anything. Uh, MJF, well, I guess we saw how the bidding war went. Uh, Montez Ford. We like Montez Ford. This guy. Can we? Is there like a mustache option? Can we get this? Is this a... Uh, Mustafa Ali is like one of those stop and start things where you're like, oh, they're going to do something cool with him. And oh, he got mad on the internet. And so now they're going to do something cool with him that plays off of that. And then they kind of don't. And... This is, I feel like this is one of those things where it's like, this experiment is over. We've tried it five different ways. And for whatever reason, someone on either, whatever happened that they just kind of never pull the trigger on it. This is not a, no, for Nanopus is asking, this is not a downloaded Vince McMahon. This is, this is in the game by default. You, this is, here you go. He's been in the last several of these. Um, but yeah, uh, Mustafa Ali is a, he, I, I think he is a fantastic wrestler, I, but whatever, you know, like the, the, like is someone a good wrestler these days is kind of a weird thing, right? I mean, you, you don't get to this level if you can't have like at least a fucking decent match. Like there are very few people on the roster and they're usually the guys that are like nine feet tall. Cause you know, someone's a sucker. 
But like, generally speaking, everyone can fucking wrestle. Everyone can do quite well. And so, you know, but, but Mustafa Ali is a cut above for sure. But I don't know. There's just no story. There's no meaningful story with him. And so they can throw him in these cold matches and have him walk on back and be like, hey, I don't like what you're saying. We should fight tonight. And then I'll be on TV again in another six weeks or, or whatever it is. MVP. Yeah. Why not? Natalia still doing it. Uh, I hope that they get rid of the ASH thing. Is it was so I this this always felt like the most slapdash fucking thing. I, I and I maybe I didn't see the origins of why she became a superhero. But like, I is this was this meant to be when they when they pulled the trigger on this superhero thing? Was it designed to be like a reference to the superhero in training thing, and then they just couldn't bring themselves to have the initials shit after her name, or or what? I, I like, I don't like. Was Hurricane supposed to come and do something? Like, what was the the impetus for this? I, I I don't know. She's back. She's out of this. She's she's yeah. If they if they yeah, she could have been uh, connected with with younger demographic for sure and, and and all that. And but I just it just it seemed like a very weird change that you know like I missed something or I don't know. But um yeah. Or was it when Cross came in they did you know whatever it was. But now she's back to being Nikki Cross and being like a crazy little goblin and I love that. Nikki Bella, the Bellas were recently, I'm sorry, the Garcias were recently complaining, or one of them was really complaining about people don't like them. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Uh, Nikita Lyons, she's been out injured, right? A lot of animated gifts of Nikita Lyons out there. Uh, Noam Dar, I've heard the name. I feel like this is the first time I've seen this person's face. Um, this, this is what I was talking about. When you're just like, we just we got this tall guy. <laughs> we got this really tall guy. Can he wrestle? I mean, we're showing him some stuff. And uh, what? He's going to wrestle fucking Brock, right? I don't know. That seems. That's, I, I, you know, that's, I, I don't. That's not a match I can bring myself to care about. I'm sorry. Otis, I th this this thing they're doing with the models thing. I feel like th this is they have they have, and I I wonder where it's coming from. If this is him, if this is just him, or if this is how people see him. But he is such a like it. It feels like someone on the writing team, or whether it's him suggesting it or whatever it is, that are just like. Dude, we just want to try to make you be like a wrestling Chris Farley. We want to put you in some ridiculous things and and you're going to just kind of make it work. And I think he makes it work. Uh he he's he seems very funny and uh And I think again, I the the stuff with um with Chad Gable, I haven't especially liked. Um, and I feel like Otis is just capable of, of funnier stuff and is also like, you know, fun to watch in the ring and, and everything. So, you know, this whole model thing they're going to do with him, that seems like it'll be funny. That seems like that'll be the kind of like the replacement for what they were doing with that Mandy Rose stuff that was like on the cusp of working or whatever. Prototype, this fucking guy. I said it before, but I... I lived with a girl who had a uh, older brother who was involved in wrestling on the West Coast, and her John Cena story from John Cena's indie days was that John Cena would not stop, was like relentless, had a ruthless aggression when it came to hitting on women. Um, I don't mean in an untoward, illegal way, I just mean that he was uh, very aggressive and that sounds like she shot him down quite a few times. Uh, Queen Zelina. Sure. Yeah. Our truth. We, why can't we? I, look, I don't want the 24-7 title back. I'm not crazy. But 
can we put can we find a place for our truth to be on television on one of the two main shows on a regular basis can we i i feel like there there sh there should be like I, I don't know what you would you know you want to do something crazy he's injured right now okay you would like oh he got hit on the head and it made him all serious and now he's you know winning the title or you know like like something something man Randy Orton says mustache Randy Orton and then this Randy Orton jeez Randy Orton's another guy I kind of feel like you know like everyone kind of comes around on or has come around on more recently but god there's the number of yeah, you know, the the number of years people spent talking nonstop shit about Randy Orton's in ring work and everything else. Like I just, he's a guy that I just he seems like a guy you can put into any position, and you know, like you could argue that like yeah, sometimes it doesn't feel like he's giving it his all, but I feel like the stuff with Riddle made the stuff with Riddle work in a way that it maybe shouldn't have, and um, yeah, I don't know. Like when he gets his Hall of Fame induction or whatever, no one's going to be like, oh man, you know, like people will be like, yeah, duh, right, fucking Randy Orton, fucking yeah. Raquel Rodriguez. Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. Uh, she's a, it's the lady with the open back on the thing, right? Like it just feels like that someone decided we want to really show off this lady's back. Because she's fucking built. She's... She's hella tough. Um, she seems cool. Razor Ramon. I mean, what do you, you know? What are you going to say? Fantastic. Reggie, what are you going to say? Fantastic. Rey Mysterio and Rey Mysterio Jr. They're both in here. That's fucking weird. I mean, that's cool, but like, it's a weird distinction, right? Um, it's weird to reference. Yeah, I mean, all right. Rhea Ripley, I I think is fucking incredible. I I like she feels like they need to get her away from this Judgment Day stuff. I feel like I don't I don't know the she doesn't need the faction. I guess is what I'm saying. She wastes a lot of time standing on the outside of the ring in in Finn Balor for Finn Balor matches and shit and um and I mean without her that yeah you're right that faction is nothing but like she should she doesn't need that shit Rick Boogs I look if you if, if I have to pick a WWE superstar that is coming out to the ring with a guitar of some kind I am picking Elias 100 times out of 100. Okay. Rick Boogs coming out with a guitar, looking all built the way he is, just looks silly and doesn't make any sense. To, uh, this, this, the whole, his whole character makes no sense to me at all. Ricochet is fantastic. Ridge Holland is all right. I mean, I don't know. He's all right as part of that group. I don't know that I've seen enough of him on his own to uh, Rikishi. You know, if you need a guy to hit a motherfucker with a car, Rikishi's your guy. Robert Rude uh, hitting the tanning booth <laughs> fucking extremely hard. Um. I, I like Robert Roode a lot. I think that he, you know they they have patterned him. I mean, not not really, and, and not and less so these days. And he's been out injured for a good long time, right? Um, but uh, I like I like Robert Roode. I, I like ravishing Rick Roode, and I think the way that they made Bobby Roode kind of in that vein just a little bit. I think it worked for a little bit. With the robes and stuff, he wasn't doing the whole Rick Rude thing, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I always liked him. The Rock. Every year that goes by, I like The Rock less. <laughs> Is that weird? Every year that goes by, 
uh, the rock does like three or four more things that make you shake your head and be like, yuck, God, this fucking guy. Roman Reigns. Um, there was that interview, I think it was with a variety talking to Paul Heyman. And, uh, and he was saying that like, Hey, Roman Reigns deserves an Emmy for this performance. And I tend to, I mean, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of other television, but, (laughs) uh, I think that what they're doing is fucking fantastic. I think what they're doing is one of those rare moments where they, they do a really good job of kind of transcending wrestling in a qualitative way. I think that it, they are kind of, it is, yes, at least a slammy, give the man a slammy for this performance at minimum. But, um, I think this storyline is, is going off the rails in ways that I wish it wasn't. I, but I think that's because I had a different, it's, it's, it's hard. You, you need, you need to not get wrapped up in those situations where like you have, you have written the story in your head. And if it's not exactly that, then you're like, this sucks. Um, but like, I, I really think that the, the Usos should be more at odds. They should have pulled the trigger on that stuff. And I think that, and gone a different way with it. And, and I don't know, like we're not that far away from WrestleMania now. And the thing I always felt that they should be doing is getting to a point where like Roman Reigns is on an Island unto himself and there's no one else there anymore, you know? And he's gone completely crazy. He's pushed everyone else out because of all the paranoia and and whatever else. And that he's fucking lost it. And he's wild. And he's just like, you know, like he's fucking gone completely off the deep end um, by the time they get to WrestleMania. And that that helps them justify or it helps kind of sell the reason why he would lose there because he's finally fucking gone. Like, you know, his time on top has driven him insane. Um, and I think that that's, that to me is what the ending to that story should be. And that that's more important than who wins it. You know, like the idea of like, Oh, Cody wins the belt. Like, sure. Whatever. Who cares? Like, yeah, put the belt on Cody. He'll be fine. That's an interesting story and and whatever, but that's a separate thing. And like the whole Sami Zayn should win the belt thing. Like I (laughs) know like that's, that keeps this story going in too many different ways where then you've got Roman Reigns has to fight Sami Zayn to get the title back and whatever. And like, no, it, like th- this thing has to implode. It has to fucking blow up completely and spin apart in time for WrestleMania. That was always how I saw it going. And it just, I don't know if they're going to do that. They need to hurry, right? Because it just doesn't, I don't know. And maybe, you know, with WrestleMania being two nights, right? I mean, they're eventually probably going to get to Sami Zayn and... Um, Kevin Owens fighting the Usos, right? Like, that probably has to happen. So do you have them lose the tag belts on night one and then Roman Reigns loses on night two? Or do you just fucking... Is, is, the, swir- is, is the move at this point to say, no, actually, fucking Cody Rhodes gets his fucking... gets the shit kicked out of him and loses. And they, you know, punt this until SummerSlam. I don't know. That I just... I don't know what they would do at that point because this thing feels like it's running out of material. You know, so if they're going to do that, it's going to have to find a new gear. It's going to have to like, it'll be a sort of situation where it's like, Hey, the, the rock has come out and now the rock is somehow involved in this storyline and, and, you know, or, or whatever, or, or, Hey, they, they really pull the trigger on Jey Uso and, and wrap it back around to that. Um, I, I just, I don't know. It does. It, this story doesn't really feel like it has enough material to it to last past WrestleMania unless they've got big surprises in store for WrestleMania or the night after, I guess, or, or whatever. But I don't know. It just feels, which, which is nice in a way because it feels less predictable than, than it would have been. Cause like, I feel like the obvious thing is just like, this thing has run its course. And of course, Cody's going to win and it makes sense for him to win. And he'll be a really great face of the company. He looks good in a suit these days. Uh, he's a he's a businessman through and through. He knows what to say, what not to say. He he'd be fantastic in interviews, uh, hugging the kids, k- kissing the babies, whatever else. Like I think that you could do that, and it would make a ton of sense. Like why not? Um, but I don't know. Like the that aspect of it is is one of the least interesting or important parts of 
the whole bloodline story, right? This was, yeah, Jay White comes out. Look, I I like Jay White a lot. I think that he's a, a fantastic character and his in-ring stuff has been super fun to watch as well most of the time and and all that. But I think the idea of Jay White in WWE and people going like, oh, I can't wait till he gets it. Like, I just... He'll be walking out with Anderson and Gallows fucking three weeks in, right? It's just going to be like fucking whatever. He's going to come out and be like an upper mid car guy. He'll get his shot and lose. And then he'll just be in that fucking Finn Balor fucking AJ Styles zone. of just like, all right, congratulations. You added another fascinating character to the roster that can really wrestle well. And like, they're just not poised to do anything with, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, just, yeah, I don't know. He just doesn't feel like a guy that would. I feel like that guy makes sense at the uh, the top of a card, you know, and but I don't know what where where he can ply his trade that would put him there. I mean, the WWE feels weird, you know. Maybe when what if if they were to split the belts up and have multiple world titles again, then maybe that would be a a way for Jay White to be having meaningful matches for a belt but I just I feel like the WWE will do him dirty and he'll make a ton of money like whatever like I, I mean do him dirty in insofar as his on screen character or whatever right but you know but if, like if he goes if he ended up going to AEW like what what then he's on TV once every fucking six months like everybody else like it's just eh, I don't know man That said, that episode of Dynamite last night, I thought was fan-fucking-tastic. I thought the whole, the comedy of the fucking rebar mitzvah <laughs> was great. I thought that most of the matches they had were, were solid, and, like, I, yeah, I thought they had a, a pretty, a pretty good show. But I, but I have some complaints, I guess, is where I'm at with it. Ronda Rousey, I this they should get they should get rid of her. They should they should get they should not have they should find a way to get Ronda Rousey out of wrestling. Is is my is where I'm at with it. I think that some of the stuff that she does in the ring looks fucking awful. I think that there's I think she's, you know, sucks. Um and I think that the way that they have fucking ramrodded her into the build to WrestleMania and whatever the hell else, you know, like whatever's going to happen there in terms of matches, I just, she makes storylines less interesting. She is terrible on the microphone and she just sucks the, she sucks the riz out of a situation, if you will. Everyone else around her is worse when she is around. Unlike Rowdy Roddy Piper. Roxanne Perez, okay. Sami Zayn, just an 84, huh? All right. I... Hey. Like I said, this is one of, this has got to be one of the top five, like, feuds, programs, whatever you want to call it in modern wrestling. Uh, I And so much of that is because of the way Sami Zayn performs, the way he is on the microphone. I There's a few things that like in the, the stuff with Roman when, when they started wrestling where like, you know, Zayn was hitting Roman with a spear and stuff. And you're just like, you know what? The size difference here is kind of weird. Or the size difference here, it, it looks a little weird the way Roman is selling some of these moves or something. But like, whatever, that's, that's that doesn't matter anymore. It matters less and less as, as time goes on. I think, you know, with the suspension of disbelief on, on wrestling, you know, smaller guys beating the shit out of bigger guys and stuff like it's it's not a it's not what it was years ago. But there were a couple of times where I was just like, yeah, that didn't look as impactful as maybe I wanted it to or maybe it, it could have or something but but uh 
fuck man he's incredible and he's you know he's always been like like think you know think about all the stuff he's done you know the the, the stuff with uh fucking johnny knoxville even you know uh sammy zane can do it all and and fit into so many different situations i think that's fucking fantastic it's nice that he, you know like that's something that i think it, it's you look at his career you, even if you just look at his run in wwe he's like man like it just he's just done a fucking awesome he's done so many awesome things he's made the most of so many fucking bad situations you know like like where he's been saddled with something that's like maybe not the most fucking awesome material to work with and he's made it it feels like he's made it work so i i just yeah Pam and Kevin Owens, I, I feel like, are the, the fucking heartbeat of that whole company. Uh, Santa Escobar. Yeah, right on. Scott Hall is, uh, you know, like, like he's on, he, you know, it's like him, Savage, Mr. Perfect. As In terms of just like, maybe like my all-time favorites. Those are probably three of the five. They should have had Seth Rollins and Seth freaking Rollins in here. <laughs> Shane McMahon still in it, huh? All right. He's like, hey, I've got some ideas for the Rumble. <laughs> Seth, I mean, well, uh, I mean, not to fucking skip Seth Rollins. I, I've come around. I've come back around on Seth Rollins in a huge way. I thought, you know, like the... The way he... Seth Rollins to me feels like in some ways that he has sat down and looked at the roster and he has looked at his place in the world and he has looked at his career and he has looked at everything else about the landscape of WWE and he has said, okay, well, if Roman is Hogan, I can be savage. And so he just like the flamboyancy that he has embraced... He is such a, yes, he's a great slime ball. Yes, exactly. And uh, he is amazing. I, I, he's, he's, he's amazing in the ring. Like, whatever, you know, like. He, he can do a lot. He can do it all. And the character, the just there's there's stuff about his character that I'm just like, man, I, I just there's sometimes. It's that believability factor for me where it's just you look at it and go like, no one would walk into the middle of this interview and just go. <laughs> like, that's just not how a fucking human being acts. And there's some of that stuff that, I, that is just like, it's a little too much. Um, But I think the way he dresses, the way he puts it all together, I think he's, he's, he's doing a fucking fantastic job. I have fucking zero complaints. He's just fucking, yeah. Like he's, uh, I, I hope he gets, uh, another world title. Like the idea that raw doesn't even have a world title belt at the time at, at this time. And you know, so he's got to fucking fight for like the U S belt or something. I, I don't know. This is not, like that stuff feels broken, but, uh, you know, him coming out in the big old fucking mega man boots and just like that, that's a great moment. That's a great t element of timing on everyone's part. Everyone who made the phone calls to say, we need to have Seth Rollins in these fucking boots that are fucking all the rage because they're only going to be the rage for about another 48 hours and then people are going to forget about them. And so if I don't fucking walk out there tonight in these Astro Boy ass Mega Man ass fucking boots and fucking curb stomp someone in them, then we might as well not even do it. And that everything lined it all up like everyone, whoever made those phone calls in the fucking back or what, like whoever fucking put all that together for that one moment. Fantastic. Fantastic. They did it. When you're a live show like that, you can you can make those windows, you can you can you can make those adjustments and all that shit. And so just great. Shane McMahon. Do you think Shane McMahon ever comes back and falls off of something again or is he done done? I don't know. Shanky I don't I don't know who that I don't know 
Is this someone on the, did someone win a contest? Did 2K hold a contest to put a guy in the game? Or is, is Shanky a real, yeah, NXT guy. When in doubt, it's an NXT guy. Oh, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, let's just look at Shawn Michaels. Oh, I don't even want, I don't even want Shawn Michaels 05, man. I want <laughs> Shawn Michaels 94 or something. This, oh. This fucking hat he's always wearing now. Uh, just imagine anytime you read a Shawn Michaels tweet, because now that he's like an on-screen authority figure, like he had to tweet about the whole like, oh, we have we might have to crown a new NXT women's champion. Uh, we we might we might have to do it. Um, just pick use this put this photo in your head anytime you. Put a, it's a combination of this and him fucking pretending to fake type at the computer backstage on Prodigy or whatever. Like, envision those two things when you think about Shawn Michaels tweeting. Yeah, from 05 to, to, to now, only lost one point. Shayna Baszler, I, you know... There's a real guilt by association thing happening here where I feel like Shayna Baszler was was doing really well as like a dominant woman on the roster. And now that she's just walking around behind Ronda Rousey, it's just like, God, oh, this sucks. She deserves better. Sheamus is a fucking all timer. And what are you going to, you know, fucking what, what the fuck are you going to say about Sheamus? What are you going to talk shit about Sheamus? No. He's having fucking some of the best matches of his career. He's fucking... He's got his spot. He's got his character incredibly well carved out. He's he just... Every, there's nothing bad about Sheamus. You might not like the spots he's in all the time. But that dude can... you Again, you can drop him into a comedy situation. You can drop him into some deadly serious shit. It's, you can fucking do it. Shelton Benjamin is one of those things that you're just like god i like why isn't he doing more i get that some people don't really like the way he is on the microphone and he probably yeah sure he could be better he could be more charismatic he could be all of those things but god i yeah you're right he's no shelton x benjamin shinsuke nakamura he's awesome yeah i wish he did more the match with Muda was interesting. Uh, I'm glad that Shotzi got the tank back because without it, I don't know that I, I don't know that I'm a, I don't know that I'm a big fan. Solo Sokoa, he's good. He, he, he's playing his role really well, I think, in that stuff. And he feels like an odd man out in some ways, but also maybe like, does he end up? That was the thing. It was like, oh, well, if the Usos end up fucking breaking up and there's chaos there, is it is it just Roman and, and Solo and Paul and that's it? And then does Paul turn on him? Because Paul always... You can count on Heyman to turn on you when he knows that things are going bad. Paul Heyman... Just starts laughing maniacally, and then Ryback's music hits. Think about it. Think no. Think about it. Ryback, uh, the ultimate Paul Heyman guy. I think Sonya Deville is awesome. I, I'm glad that she's not in that kind of authority role anymore, and is kind of doing more. Um, Stacy Keebler. Okay, it's just kind of a weird pull. Stephanie McMahon still in the game. All right. Is she signed to a, is she signed to a legends contract now? What is what is the yeah, how do they do that? Um This uh this Stone Cold Steve Austin guy, uh he's uh he's got his own line of beers. Um Yeah, it's uh I like the condemned, the Steve Austin movie. <laughs> it's a it's a hell it's a hell of a movie. 
Yeah, it'd be interesting if they pull the trigger on a Steve Austin L.A. Knight thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That made a lot more sense for Kevin Owens, I guess I'll say. Um, But, L- well, whatever. I, th- I guess the thing I'll say is, like, L.A. Knight could really, really, really benefit from that in a way that, like, Kevin Owens was already super fucking established and LA Knight is kind of not right. I mean, he's still a relatively recent, at least in that character, you know, um, so yeah, I don't know. Something with Austin could help establish him in some way. I, mm, I don't know. Six. You see, because he was the one, two, three kid, and one plus two plus three is six. T bar. T bar. We're cutting from one shot to the other. T bar. Did, was he named like did Kevin Dunn was it like is, was he in the studio was like T T-B- Tamina sure Ted DiBiase not Teddy DiBiase is fucking awesome I you know like like I this is this is the yeah when you know these checks will still clear when he's in jail uh. Like, what was it? Someone around him, like some of the, uh, you know, talk about living the gimmick, right? I mean, the million dollar man stealing a bunch of money. Uh, <laughs> oh, seriously, that shit sounds fucking insane. And they put out, there's like a documentary. It's like, he, you know, he's like running a church on top of all this stuff, right? So you just look at it and go like, yes, he's, he's, he's entered his fucking Brett Favre era on the real Titus O'Neil, you know, tripped and fell, and now he's just the ambassador. Tommaso Ciampa, I, this dude's awesome. This, this is, it's, it's, this is the kind of, this is sort of what I'm talking about with a lot of these guys who came back and a lot of these guys that came in over the last year plus or whatever it was. Um, we're like, this, I, I, Champa's awesome. And then like, it was a weird thing where, I don't know, like th- that was a case where when they put him with the Miz, it just didn't make a lot of sense. It just didn't, you know, like, it, like, oh, this guy came in, he's got a lot of momentum behind him. And now he's just kind of like answering to the Miz. And it was just this weird, like, I don't, you know, sometimes these guys just come in and it just doesn't feel like that they've got a, 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 a plan for them. And so they just end up throwing this stuff together. And so like, you know, you've got the, the memory of the Ciampa and Gargano matches and all that fucking awesome shit that happened back when I was watching a little more NXT. Um, but I don't know, you know, it just like that, that whole thing didn't work. He's, you know, and we'll see what happens when he, when he finally comes back. I know he's been, what, he's been getting all these stem cell things. Triple H. I guess you probably never see Triple H wrestle again, huh? At this point, all the health stuff. Tristratus, yeah. Tyler Bate. Is he still on the? Was he one of the like NXT UK cuts, or did he make it? Did he make it through somewhere? Did he made it to NXT. Okay, all right. Tyler, we look. I have nothing bad to say about Tyler Breeze. Other than that, he should if they if they bring him back in an in ring capacity, I I feel well. Maybe I don't want this, but I was gonna say that he needs to be fighting Austin Theory for the fucking selfie gimmick. Is Tyler Breeze still under contract? I think he's. I mean, I don't know. He's he's like, is he working in the back? Okay, I I, th- I wasn't sure if they just brought him back to do the video game stuff. Or not. Um, but yeah. Um, 
Ultimate Warrior, tragic story, but also ugh. Uh, Umaga, tragic story, but, but fuck, man. It's cool that Solo Sokoa does the, the thing. That's that's cool. How many Undertakers do you think we have? Is it two or is it like five? No, it's just two. Why don't we have the... I mean, like, I feel like if you're going to put two Undertakers in this game, these aren't the two. Yeah, where's one man show uh, Blue Lives Matter Undertaker, the current one? Where we want where where is he at? Vader. Great. Veer Mahan. Uh is Veer is still is Veer's going to be here any minute now. You'll see. You'll all see. Kozlov. Did I download Kozlov? I might have downloaded Kozlov. I might have downloaded Kozlov. We'll, when we get through the list, we'll go look at the downloaded list and see. Okay, yes. No, I I forgot. Uh, Wes Lee, that's a terrible name. Maybe it's his real name, but in that case, is he Wesley Lee? Because that's also bad. X-Pac. Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah. Xavier Woods, I mean, say what you will about the, uh, you know, the Elias versus Rick Boogs instrument off, but as far as someone who's walking to the ring with a musical instrument, Xavier Woods is the man who does it best. Give this man a title run. All three members of the New Day should have one. He got his King of the Ring. I want an in-game peck dance party. I want a... Hmm. Uh, Zia Lee. She, she's the one that comes out and is like... Looks like she's the attract mode from a Soul Calibur game, right? Yokozuna, yeah. Zoe Stark. Okay. And then a, a pretty questionable Kenny Omega. Um, okay, let's look at the downloaded ones I've got. So no, that's that's weird because they say downloaded superstars, but these are just like this is like DLC. You pre-ordered the the big edition thing. Leviathan. Oh God, that's funny that that's they did that. All right, so here's the custom stuff I've downloaded so far. We got Arn Anderson. We got Batman. We got a Brian Danielson. Eddie Kingston, Goldberg 04, which is less interesting now that I know that Goldberg's in the game normally. I literally just, the, when I loaded up the game for the first time, I just went into the user created stuff and started looking at it. Jay White, got Sean Moxley, got Statlander, and Jeff, yes, Koslov. Okay. I think I was just into the idea that someone said, like, it's day one. I got to make a Vladimir Koslov. I got to get Koslov in there. Did Koslov do that? Oh, I guess we were going to do a match, huh? Should I play the game? Uh, I don't know, man. Let's, uh... Let's see how this goes. Yes, Thunderdome era in Liverpool, England. Oh, time for more conspiracies. Oh, wow. Sammy Zane himself would say that's not very oozy of you. The following contest is an extreme... Time for more conspiracies is a really weird line to still have in here. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 200 at 12 pounds. Sammy Kind of a jackass. Don't you dare say that word in Sammy's presence. 
And then to mention the Usi, like that's real weirdly all over the place. Hair looks pretty good. You know, we don't have a classic Triple H on the roster to, to really look at anymore. What a weird thing. The Thunderdome. Roman Reigns, the leader of the bloodline, has arrived. And his opponent, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 200. And so weird for them to have undisputed. the conspiracy theory stuff for Sami Zayn. I, that's, that's really fucking strange. It's not that the game is stuck in time, it's that it's stuck in 20 different times, you know? It's like... Yeah, it's, it's also a shame that they don't have the proper Roman Reigns entrance with the shittiest looking like that should be a character in the game is like fucking shitty AR rendered Roman Reigns like let me play as that thing that terrible looking like you know just go to 2k and say hey can we fucking use your Roman Reigns model and then it'll be like an ad for the game too no we're still gonna continue to use this fucking piece of garbage did someone fucking shit this out in a weekend like what like oh, so much of their AR stuff, they're, they're, it just looks fucking awful. Oh no. Taken to the air and completely wiping out. Drop kick. And now Zayn has all gears in motion. Roman's being picked apart. Big four. Reigns gets out of harm's way. Textbook jumping clothesline. Ooh. The spotlight's a nice touch. Oh, weird. Split screen. Is it? I, I guess I know. Maybe it's done that before. I don't know. Don't know that I've. Oh, man. So many things can go wrong now. Ooh, bang. He is delivering elbow after elbow. That'll cost some teeth. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Is there something? What, I don't. I don't. I couldn't tell you what this meter above my head means. You gotta accept the fact that you're gonna be punished like you've never been punished before, and no mercy will be given. In this situation, you can completely unload on your opponent and a referee's count can't stop you. You can set the rule book ablaze. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Reigns is getting dismantled here. Sami Zayn has got everything going exactly how he wants it. What a barrage of stops. This arena can't contain them and if history is any indication... I don't know how to pick that up. Directed right at him at this point. Yeah, as Zane Would gameplay more like Elite Beat Agents work for wrestling better? Yeah, I mean, you could certainly make a. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Zane's feeling it. Roman keeps getting cut off at the pass. Here we go. Your favorite call, Blue Thunder Bomb. Big counter from Reigns. A big counter of rolling out of the way. Roman was able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but can he take control of this match? Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming 
it's a really tight window. Like the the reversal windows, I feel like have been pretty uh, wide, but for whatever reason, they're being not very wide. He's heading back to the ring. Sami Zayn is letting his opponent know exactly what he thinks of him. Okay, it's not the grab button. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. There we go. L1. Dumbass. But it's gonna hurt. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Stinging right to the back. <laughs> right about now, Roman. Maybe that will shut him up. He can't take any more of this. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. And there is some force on that move. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. That's not, I didn't mean to do that again, but. He keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Oh, yeah. Vicious with the arm. How much more can the big dog withstand? Yeah, Zane's appearing unstoppable. Double axe handle. And the possibility for serious injury. That would be interesting stat. Like, since this game has come out or in the first week of a release, how many people ran this exact match? Thinking like I'm gonna make it right, damn it! Uh, what? I was. I feel like I was in the right position to do that a second ago. All right. Well. No. Is that, is that all you do? I'm. <laughs> Like, okay, yeah, we'll do both arms. Why not? I guess it, it had a, there was a second there that I oh, guess okay, well, he's up. I can do it. All right, weird. Probably hurt. Sure. Let's get back in the ring. Have an honest fight. Down with a jaw. And bite your tongue with that. I'm hitting oh. I'm I'm hitting A, not X, because it's showing me Xbox buttons, but I'm using a PlayStation controller and I briefly forgot that. Yeah, it's unfortunate about the music and stuff. I wonder, you know, do they ever do a, a like, music or, like, like that type of update mid-year? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it won a match with the Blue Thunder Bomb. There's, that, that never happens. Oh, 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 oh. 
Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, if I hit him with the bat enough times, will I get a five-star match out of it? <laughs> this melts her with a notepad going, like, hmm, this post-match is, uh, where he hit him with the bat 184 times. Each time he hit him with the bat, I liked the match a little bit more. No one coming out here to save him. Is this what you wanted? Is this how you wanted it to end? <laughs> this should be, yeah, this should be how WrestleMania ends. They go off the air after 40 minutes of this. It stopped me. The fans love it, though. They're like, I'm on a Zoom call and I'm having a great time. Amazing. Let's look at the highlight reel. Yeah, remember that? Remember when the Blue Thunder Bomb actually led to a pin? I would have thought they would have gone with, um, you know, at least some of the people who work on the dev team could have found a way into the game this way by being on Thunderdome sign, uh, TVs, you know, this is, that's it. That's the only, it's, that's the only highlight you got, huh? That's a hell of a reel. Ah, if it had been in the Tokyo dump, is it, can I get the Tokyo dome? Raw. Donnie! Alright. Tried to make Daly's place. Yes, Rumble Roses Live 2K23. <laughs> This music is fucking abysmal, man. I, I just, I gotta turn it all the way down. Not for like, you know, whatever. We've already streamed enough licensed music now that uploading this video anywhere is gonna be a nightmare. But, um. Does it have the fist? I thought it didn't have the fist. Anyway. It has the fist? Great. Final destination. Sure. All right. I'm, whatever. We're not here to look through the... All right, here are the most recent uploads. That's not a, well, that's, a, that's an okay Kaufman, I guess. I don't know, the face doesn't look right to me.
Good idea, though. Um, let's go to most downloaded. Now, I wonder if there's any, like, um, is there anything to be gleaned from the number of downloads or, or like, the, the kind of the ranking here? Where, like, can you tell anything about a, a, a wrestler's popularity, whether they're in WWE or not, by their presence on this most downloaded list? And what does it say about the Dominic Mysterio angle that he has been the most down? This is since I saw this game yesterday, day before, whatever it was, since I first loaded it up. Dominic Mysterio has been at the top of this list. And a lot of this is, uh, some of this is relatively unchanged. Uh, you know, the, this CM Punk has been here for a while. I, I feel like all the CM Punks I've seen have looked pretty bad. Um, like the face just isn't right and all that. But, um, there's a, but, but then also like the number of times you see an individual wrestler in these pages, like I went through the top five and I, so I like, um, I feel like in years past, at least over the past few years, like you can guarantee that you'll see a Benoit in there. Like that's, you know, that's going to happen because people are fucking awful. Right. I mean, whatever people are assholes. Um, But also, I guess I would say in years past, my expectation would have been that there would, that Kenny Omega would be up here in the most downloaded pretty early on. And let's see how many pages it takes to get us to, to Kenny Omega. We got a Moxley, you know, we got a, we got two CM Punks now. You know, we've got a Jay White. We've got a, a an MJF. You know, we've got a Statlander. Matt Hardy, I guess, technically kind of counts in that weird way. Um, you know, Sasha Banks makes a ton of sense. We've got a Christian, which, yeah, all right, yeah. Another Moxley. We have a three Mandy Roses so far. A couple of Cody Rhodes's. Twenty fourteen Stephanie McMahon. We've got a swerve that wasn't there before. It's a swerve rising up the ranks. Got a Buddy Murphy. You know, I hope that by twenty three, they mean it's got a mustache. Um, and I, you know, I don't know, like, what can you infer from this? Probably not much. It's not science. It's, it's, you know, it's whatever, but like, you got to get to page six to find a single Kenny Omega. And I found, you know, if you go down a few more, you'll, you'll find a few more. And I guess my question to you would be, do you think that like the last year plus the last year or two that Kenny Omega's stock has risen or fallen, I guess, as a as a star, as a, as a mainstream star, as a, as a, you know, like the, as a, whether it's as a wrestler, whether it's as a talent, like, yeah, he was out injured a lot and, and, and all that, you know, so there's a, there's a lot of that on there too. I just, I don't know. Like, I guess like for me, my expectation was to open this up and find like three Kenny Omegas because that's been the last couple of years of this has been like, Oh, here's another Kenny Omega. Oh, here's another Kenny Omega. Here's another, you know, and you know, it probably speaks well for the health of AEW in some weird way that there's a wide swath of AEW uh, wrestlers in these top five, six pages, you know. Um, but I guess I just, I don't know. I thought that like the number one with a bullet would be fucking like, here's Kenny Omega right there. And, it's, and he, he was not. I was like, oh, huh. Okay. And as I got to thinking about it, I was like, that's, huh. That's I guess maybe that makes sense between, you know, he hasn't had a ton of matches in the last 12 months or whatever, you know, like there's a, 
but like the yeah the, the weird cross section of people that are creating wrestlers for this mode uh yeah there's nokata dax hardwood hardwood how, yeah, how long do we get uh, until we get a Ryback? And, and yeah, so the, the game's technically only out for people who bought the expensive version of the game. But I would kind of look at it as like the biggest, weirdest wrestling fans, especially when it comes to the game, are the people that are most likely to go like, I've got to buy the expensive version so I can start creating characters early so that I can upload them before the game is out and then I can establish my position. You know, th th there's I assume that there's that level of like, we've got to get our guys out the door early. We've got to get our creations out the door early or whatever. Um And so I, I, I just I, I just assume that the biggest, wildest fans of wrestling overall are already playing the game. And a Walter White here. Some of these, so I, you know, even though I have the, you know, the expensive version of the game that, um gives you a thing that unlocks everything. There's still stuff that I guess you have to play through showcase mode to unlock this stuff first before you can even. So if someone uses like John Cena, O2 armbands or whatever on a creation, then you can't use it until you go and unlock those parts, which is, which is silly. But yeah, a few MJFs, a few Danielsons, a few Moxleys. You know, I got to I look at, I already look at Jade Cargill. Yeah. We got a, we got a Rosemary. And a Bushi. You know, yeah. Pretty good. Not enough abs. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Someone should upload. So yeah, if someone's going to make a John Morrison, they should make like 20 of them and upload them. So we can do, you know, war games, you know, John Morrison versus... Johnny Impact. Do we have Jimmy Wang Yang? I don't know. You know, maybe I could search. We got a Sandman. All right. Johnny Mundo. Ah, yes. Hardcore hack. Here he is. Hook. That's a terrible. <laughs> that's it's real. That's a bad. That's not a. That's not a good hook. It's like if you go to wish dot com and you type in send hook, this is what you get. Also, they made hook a night a ninety eight. Hmm. No. <laughs> ah, Britt Barker. I would do... All right, whatever. That's weird. Can you... Because you can upload pictures to the game, and so that's how people are doing, like, the AEW logos and whatever else, and so... Um... But can you upload photos to use and map over character faces? Is that how some of these are also working? Because like that Britt Baker looks, the face looks weird on it. it looks fake. Well, fake is a weird. Uh, Sammy Guevara. Cash. We've got to get Psycho Sid into the game. We've got to get Sid Justice into the game. Someone, someone woke up and said, ah, can't believe Sid's not on this roster. 
Yeah, where's Action Bronson? Where's Jarrett? We got Kennedy. Okay. But we're getting down into, you know, 10 pages in, we're starting to get more just like, it's a guy I made. This is my original creation for... Yeah, Rick Ross. Sure. I, I, I did actually see a Rick Ross in here. Like, did, they put, did someone put Steve Bannon in this game? Oh. Yes, I guess they did. There he is. Didn't bother writing the name on this one. That's a, yeah, yeah I mean. Are we making, I, I'm not going to make, I'm, I'm bad with a character creator. Um, so I, I don't, I tend to not really get too into it, but you know, if someone wants to make a doctor track suit, I don't know, 2K made one <laughs> years ago. I don't know what this is. Oh, God. Baldy horror. Hashtags. Baldy horror meme. Description. Get out while you still can. Okay. Fifty cents. It's not. It's not the worst. It's not the worst blood on the sand looking. I just wish this had a story creator. I wish that this had a whole, you know, like I wish I could, you know, that people could make their own ghost problems, that people could make their own silly stories and that VGCW could have the tools needed to actually to do it real big again. I, you know, it's unfortunate. That they don't, I, I don't know why they wouldn't do it. I, I guess, you know, it's probably just something, it's one of those features, the story creators, is it just one of those things that just not enough people used and, or, or, or was it a case of like when people used it, they used it in the worst off brand fucking ways that people were just like, I, ah, we don't want to see, we, we, you know, we don't want to see this sort of stuff, uh, with our, or we don't want our characters to say these words. People are being hell of racist, you know, or, or, or whatever. Let's look at this Sabu. All right. Yeah. Neurokip asks, what the fuck is Durag Vince? That's ECW champion Vince McMahon. I'm sorry if that's not immediately obvious <laughs> to some folks. Because I see that and go like, oh, right, of course. Yeah, Durag Vince. Yeah. Of course. Of course someone made that. Uh... How's this sub zero look? Okay. How is story creator different from universe? Universe, well, I you know, universe lets you make matches and stuff like that, right? But uh But story creator was like you are you are picking a background like backstage in the garage or in the ring or here, you know, and then you're picking who are the wrestlers in the scene and then you're writing the dialogue for them to say. And it's just, you know, it's, it's a dialogue box at the bottom of the screen. And then, so you can build a whole show and you can put matches in it if you want to, where you're like, Oh, in, in this match, these two people fight. And then you, you play as this guy and make him win or, or whatever, but you don't have to. It was a machinima maker. Exactly. Yeah. It was, uh, and so you could, you could use those things. Like some of the scenarios were like, you know, in backstage interview and a guy gets jumped, but also there was like guy walking through garage and then gets run over by a car and, and you could string those together and just be like, have it make no sense and be like, it's going to, it's going to load up scene after scene of someone getting hit by a car 20 times in a row. If you so choose, um, yeah, you can make stories about referees that are haunted by ghosts. All this all this amazing stuff. And it was just so much fun. So much fun. And what they what was the last one that had it? Was it 2K13? It's been 10 years, right? Was 2K13 the last one to to really 
Oh, God. Two K fourteen, okay, yeah, but it, yeah, it, it was such a cool thing, such an awesome silly ass mode, and um, and they they haven't yeah they haven't had it in in years and years, and so it, it's it's unfortunate because that was like I I'd be fo totally fine, like to me the wrestling in these games and and it's gotten better right I mean the the last the the last kind of reboot they did of this franchise. Like when you play it, it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't love it as a representation of television wrestling or, or whatever, but people very interested in ice spice. Okay, fine. Yuck. But sure. Um, I would buy this game every year if it just, if the machinima silly ass fucking story tools just got better and better every year and they updated the rosters and, and whatever else, I would happily play this game for hours and hours and hours, just watching other people's silly stories, making some of my own, whatever else. Like I, I would do that, but, um, okay. So you get a, a little more modern. Sami Zayn there but it's they don't but instead it's it's not that so like I, I don't like the, to me the least interesting thing about this game is playing it because it is a shitty fighting game in a lot of ways you know it's like oh here's we've we've taken this rock paper scissors stuff we've slown it way down we have um added these really wide parry windows we have added these really long animations where you push one button and then five seconds later you get to play the game again because it's a whole setup and kick and everything else and and all that shit i i just it's so fucking boring and it doesn't it doesn't come off anywhere you know it, it doesn't to me it, it never feels like the way wrestling feels on television whether whether it's the match the way the matches are structured like if you go out of your way to really do it you can kind of build a match in a way that you know looks more like a TV match but like you know that was what people were saying with that match we just did where it's like oh Zayn won with the blue thunder bomb and that never happens you know it's like yeah so it's just i don't know like the 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 action never looks like television. It never comes off like television. It never feels right. It just, it just always comes off as kind of crummy. And, and so that, that's, that's a bummer. I, I would, I would much rather, I, I would totally engage with this thing on a much deeper level. If it had all the story creator and all that silly shit, the universe mode, the GM mode, I'm not really interested in it. It doesn't really, it doesn't really scratch the same itch. I want to do kind of ridiculous things with it. You know, the, the sort of stuff that VGCW does. I mean, I'm, not that I would ever be able to do anything on that level. I mean, they're they're doing things on a, a much crazier level, right? But uh, even to just be able to go and look at what that, you know, like stuff like that that other people had made and, and just be able to engage with the creation tools on, the, on that level, I think would just be so much more exciting. And, and it would be a way into this game for me that like the gameplay is never going to be uh, because they have not made uh, it because it never is. It's just never going to be that, you know, I'm, I'm, I guess I consider myself a wrestling fan and, and I, but I fucking straight up this video game to me just has it, like the, the, it just feels like it has the most passing resemblance to what the in-ring wrestling stuff is when it comes to playing it as a video game, you know what I mean? Like all the bells and whistles are there and they like all these entrances and they do this and they do that. And, oh man, they got all the roster and they do all these scans and everyone looks awesome. And then it's just like, you know, this kind of bad, like, you know, it's the moves are never right. The, the, the gameplay never is engaging enough to it's just, yeah, it's just, it's, it's fucking boring. I guess is what I would say. Um, do they have the house? Oh yeah. Oh, this is the NXT in your house. Who cares? I want actual in your house. Not this bullshit. Um, but they've got day one. Oh, my God. 
Ah, uh, the branding. So much branding. SmackDown and the Thunderdome or current SmackDown. I don't know. Let's, let's do that. Um, when was the last time you enjoyed a thing? Get fucked. Go fuck yourself. Like, hey, guess what? The fucking wrestling games aren't good. It's not a fucking hot take, dumbass. Um, and it's a shame. I don't know. Like, I, as again, as someone who who likes wrestling, like I wish that these games were more interesting. Um, and they're just, I don't know. They're not. Oh, wait, how do I? Oh, right. I've got to change this to two on two. And then I guess normal is then a tag team match. That's a weird way to write it, but okay. Uh, control partners, no. Reunited, finally. Yeah, just do all CPU? Okay, yeah. Can I... I'll, uh... How do I... Do I do that? Maybe... Oh, I can... Okay, I'll just go down at the end here. Is that... Does that do it? Well, anyway. Who are we gonna have them fight? Uh... Created characters, yeah. Let's see some more of the created characters. Sure. Batman. And Dax. So how do I not play? <laughs> Entrance on, title match off. It's not in the match options. Custom match rules. No. But it's like here is where it says one player versus computers and no that just that just does that like oh wait now that control partners no there's no way here to there's nothing here about setting controller stuff you go back and put the controller at the bottom where the icon is, but that's. See, then when I hit it, hit, when I go back there and hit the button, it just brings it over here to where I've got Eddie Kingston. So that's not a, that doesn't, that doesn't do, and then I can pull him out, but. What the fuck? And then that whole thing goes away once I've got all the, the characters selected. And this is just going to start it. This is not like there's no next screen to go set that stuff at. It's like the icon before I select wrestlers. All right, so maybe we'll try to quit out of it and try to set this up again.
And I can't even pull up a menu here. It's like, just skip this scene? Yeah, WWE is really good at associating themselves with, like, the fucking worst music. It really, it's the sort of thing that, like, when you hear it, you go like, man, is this what fans of this listen to? Because am I, am I, do, should, maybe I shouldn't be into this thing if this is, oh, that's a good looking Batman. It's a terrible looking Batman. Can I do it here? Controller assignment. There it is. Okay. From the pack. Why does he look like a mummy? Why does he look like he's wearing like mummy wraps with like vague Batman stuff over it? That's not a, that's, that's like, that's a good Dax from like this distance, but when it's zoomed in, the face is not. It's not right. I can't. Oh my god! This these vicious attacks. I'm pulling for the Kingstons. You know, there's a, it's a the long time family relationship there. I think they you know they innately know what the other is going to do. It's the thing when you got when you got family like that, like the Kingstons. Dax going for the pin early. He's got a podcast to record later. There's the tag. He turns it around. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Stopping down. And finds a count. You know, it's uh, we're a long way between here and there, not necessarily from the technology end of things, but definitely from the uh, legality contract end of it. This is a pretty good looking Eddie Kingston. Honestly, now that I'm looking at his face and stuff, like this is pretty decent Eddie Kingston. Um... Eddie Kingston addresses Batman, his ultimate enemy. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? I got distracted by... Oh, the, the, you know, the, 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 basically the, AI voice stuff. And maybe they don't want to do this. Maybe if they, once they start, once it becomes possible, they'll have to decide like, oh, do we actually want to open this door? But like, there's just so much commentary in here that's, he does this. It's, it's, I mean, honestly, it's the thing that like a Vince McMahon, w you know, listening to it would be driven insane You're like what are the pronouns probably like it would like the you would have fucking lost it by now watching this like it never says their name god damn it but um the commentary could be so much better and so much more alive and like you know imagine if you were creating a character and as you were creating the character, you could also write some tidbits about, like, here's some factoids about this character, like where they're from, or, but also, like, here's the nine different nicknames for them in case you, and, and, and have AI voice stuff generate that. 
Now, you know, in order to make that work and to make that real, you know, you've got to pay Michael Cole, right? You've got to, you're licensing his voice at that point. You're licensing his voice print, whatever you want to say there. So there's, there's got to be a framework in place for that stuff to work and, and, uh, and everything for that to be like legally sensible and, and whatever else, but. It moves us beyond, like, you know, when you see all sports games and the way they're like, oh, we, we had the announcers pre-record these names. So, like, you know, the words Kenny and Omega are already in here. The letters M, J, F are already in here. So if you, you make a character and you want to use those, you can. And so on the, the ring announcer will say Kenny Omega, but the announcers, the commentators, will not. Um... And so, I, I just, you know, I, it would be cool, right? It'd be cool. Obviously, yeah, you know, there's a, a train wreck worth of framework there. Oh, my God, vicious. Dax and, and Eddie Kingston ever wrestled each other? That, I, you know... I know Dax has had some singles matches here and there. He doesn't have a ton of them, but that would... I'd watch that, goddammit. Um, has Batman ever wrestled Kofi, Kofi Kingston? No, Kofi's like normal, like a tag guy, but like, uh, you know, he, he has his share of singles matches. They, they, they fought each other. I'd watch that. Both comic book stars. Um, but you know, football games and everything else that have had created characters and, and, you know, created teams or whatever, you're always limited to just like whatever 50 words they decided were good or, you know, like, especially like the, the college football games, like shit, man, you know, the college football games, if they wanted to really not pay people for their names and likenesses, AI voice work would fucking save EA a lot of money. Uh, if we want to be fucking shitty about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I think that that would, that would be, again, any, anything I'm, I'm thinking when it comes to this game or when it comes to these games in general about things I would like to see be done better, it is all stuff in service of having more believable inclusion of custom characters, right? That's the sort of stuff that like, once it gets good enough, you know, then it's like, well, ah, yes, Eddie Kingston's famous taunt. And he gets set back into the ring. You know, but you eventually get to a point where you're like, you could, you could ship an engine with no wrestlers in it or whatever. Uh, and just let people create it. You know, Fire Pro. Well, not that Fire... I mean, you know, I was going to say Fire Pro, but 3D, but that's not... What, that's not what Fire Pro fans actually want, so... Uh, but I just... I don't know. I just look at it as, like, it, it'd be cool if custom characters were... You know, had had all that other stuff, you know. Yeah, I know. They did that 3D Fire Pro with Xbox avatars. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That that's. It just feels like there's so much potential to integrate custom characters more deeply, even without going down that specific road, right? But... Um, I wonder if there's any limitations put on them by the license holder when it comes to that stuff. I would think not, because I would think that if WWE stepped in and was like, hey, we have some notes and we, we specifically don't want to allow this, this, and this, then you wouldn't see Benoit's in the created characters thing every year, you know? Um...
super kick aficionado Dax Harwood. They usually get deleted. Yeah, well, do they? I well, maybe there's just so many of them, but I, I feel like I pretty routinely see Benoit's in there, and I'm sure some moderator does clear them out. But um, but those ones have been there for over 24 hours now, so. I would think launch week or whatever, they would be extra on it when it comes to cleaning up the community stuff. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, maybe they're addressing the, like, hey, people keep uploading images of naked people. Have I played Wrestling Empire? Yeah, Wrestling Empire is nuts. Uh... Wait, which one? Wait, am I thinking of the same game? That's the M. Dickey game with people getting dismembered, right? Angry Andy Organ or whatever. Um, oh, yeah, 2K did just lay some people off, didn't they? They lay off all their moderators. Now the Benoit's run free. Yuck. This is Barn Burners, four and a half stars. Yes, Batman hitting the shatter machine. Oh, that's real dumb. I'd believe Batman could do that. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Like, yeah, this stuff all feels very... Well, I don't know. I, I wonder, like, you know, the commentary in WWE has gotten so much better lately. Or uh, they, they seem looser. They seem like they're having more fun. They feel, you know, like there there's uh, just the, I feel like that aspect of the presentation has improved so much. Um, maybe most of all, like maybe that's the most improved thing about WWE when we look at the kind of like whatever the Triple H era, you know, whatever you want to call it. I was going to say the post Vince era, but that's like, you know, that's going to last another few weeks here. Um, but the commentary obviously has gotten so much better. But this game doesn't reflect that. I mean, Byron's out there for Christ's sake. Oh. Kingston crashes to the outside. This is go home, guy. It's a five star match already. <laughs> I mean, Batman won't kill, but Eddie Kingston will. Dax is getting pissed. He's Batman. You're killing the business. Back rakes are a heel move. Hogan used to do them. Hogan did did back rakes. I feel like in the eighties. Huh. Have they? I guess. I, like I said, I don't play enough of these to necessarily know. But uh, have they always allowed pile drivers in the games? One dipshit out there in the crowd with a sign that just says "What." I could have lined up a little better instead of having him magnetize mid-air to drop on the fucking guy's torso. The funniest crowd sign I've seen? I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen any uh I don't know. I haven't really seen a lot. 
in this game. I haven't really seen a lot of signs. Yep. Kofi Kingston's, Kingston's famous finisher, the double axe handle off the top rope. The Kingston's, baby. The Kingston brothers always get it done. I, you know, I'd say you put a sixth star on that one. Oh, apparently, it's the greatest match of all time. Remember when that happened? Yeah, five stars wasn't even in Tokyo, no. Ah, uh, thanks for providing me the angle of the shatter machine that misses most of the impact. This is a really good highlight right here. You've got, I guess you see the knees. I guess you see most of it. I guess you see some of it. <laughs> but like the ref is the highlight of this pack. Like what? It's a weird one. Um, Okay. This game needs uh, some jams to really uh, pick up the pace here. How about we get a little uh, red hot chili peppers in here? What do you say? This thing... Wow. Wow. It's got this intro. It's so long. And, it's, you know, it's, it's like, it, it's an interesting idea. On June 27th, 2002, I took my first steps towards the WWE ring. The first massive opportunity to realize a dream, a golden opportunity to make it. World of sports. And I guess, you know, like, it, it's. to prove I belonged in the WWE universe. And I failed. There's so much stuff happen? already done. The, you know, the, the WWE is so good at repackaging its history over and over and over again and, and making sure you know these stories and, and, you know, like, oh, what did John Cena think about this? Like, we, we talk so much now. Like, there's so many podcasts, there's so much everything about the behind the scenes, what's really going on stuff. And now a and E's airing all these documentaries and, and everything that, like, by the time we get to here's the video game retelling of John Cena's career, you're like, yeah, no, I, I know. Believe me, I know. Rick Bassman, yeah, no, I, I'm, I get it. Um, a universe with larger than life performers like Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, and the first superstar, Bruno San Martino, standing. But I guess if you want to unlock everything, you have to play the showcase mode as well. So. To me, this is the match. Like this is this is the match you and and they're starting with it, and that's that's kind of cool. Rob Van Dam. But this is Mr. Monday Night, the whole effing show. Rob is an individual that showcased athletic ability, and at the same time, like when we talk about John Cena's career and the the, the big crazy matches, like the, to me, this is always the big standout one. His ability is second to none. What he can do in the air and his flexibility. It makes him one of a kind. Loves weed. Uh, I think that theme song fits him very well. I'm cashing in the money in the bank at one night stand. Whew. The ECW one night stand in the famed Hammerstein Ballroom. The crowd was the, the best crowd I've ever performed in front of. They were all rooting for Rob Van Dam. The crowd was the show. We were just performing around them. This small group 
was so enthusiastic. These bingo hall ass, these motherfucker. It was more than just Rob Van Dam versus John Cena. It was an underdog company versus the powerhouse that is WWE. It was something I, I've never experienced after that, and I don't know if I'll ever experience again. Even when it seems like the whole entire world is against you, if there was one fan still rooting for me in that crowd, I was going to fight for them. And I was going to fight for anyone cheering me on watching at home, even in the most hostile environment. It's a weird, I don't know. That's, that's the, the Cena character is such that they have to kind of do this, right? Like the, if there's one person out there, I'm going to, but like, I, there's such a, yeah. I mean, in the game, they got to, they got to talk like it's real, right? To a certain extent. It's weird because they, they talk about, they love to use the word talent. They love to use the word, he's one of the best performers in this industry. They love to, they all love to use the word industry and they all use the word performer a lot. And then they don't, or is it, yeah, it'll be like, he's one of the best performers in this, but then interchangeably, they'll sometimes they'll go in this sport and you're like, ah, okay, in this business, he's one of the best performers. And, um, even in the intro of this thing, John Cena is using that term, you know, it's just, it's a weird they just don't know what they want to, they, they don't know that someone should go through this sort of stuff with a fine tooth comb and, and fucking say like, okay, um, what's the presentation style here? Is it, is it, is it real or is it not? Is it a work or is it a shoot? Like we need to, if we can't establish that, then we can't even write this script. We can't even write this dialogue. Right. But like, I don't know. Cena comes off as like, you know, like you believe the things he says here because I, has there ever been more of a company man than John Cena? You could say Undertaker, perhaps. Um, but like John Cena is the ultimate. He's the guy that reached the top of the mountain, the the Stone Cold Hulk Hogan tier, and never never left not that he's there on a regular basis now but he never was like out there talking shit the way hogan did he never didn't pull any of the shit that austin did even the rock had their kind of had their ups and downs a little bit exactly yes yes john cena is out there learning to speak mandarin so that the comp for the company john cena's got his fucking closet full of suits so he can represent the company even still you know and it's uh it's weird <laughs> Oh, that's right. I'm playing. Uh, so, yeah, the other thing about this mode is you don't play as Cena, which is kind of interesting. Well, I, was, I didn't do any of that. I pushed one button there and all that happened. I would like to pick you up so I can rock you with two of those heavy combos of mine. There's one. I don't know. I, I'll, you know, 
I always liked John Cena. I met John Cena. I interviewed John Cena before his album came out. I asked him about his album. <laughs> What? Oh, okay, I guess that was technically a reversal then, sure. Get up so I can do the thing. I just have to do the other thing. Okay, now what? I've got to Irish whip him. Oh, yeah. Hustle, loyalty, respect, tables. That table's just gone now. That's neat. That's cool. Less cool that they're blurring out the ref's face, but... Look, that guy probably doesn't work for the company anymore, right? Charles Robinson's blurred out too. That's strange. You need to put the moves on this screen if you want me to do that shit. He also connected with that corkscrew leg drop of his while I was across the barricade. Really? I don't know how to fucking do any of that. Now I got to dig into this. Okay, they put it here. Just put it there. With the opponent leaning towards the center of the north or south barricade, press B to perform the corkscrew leg drop. Oh, fuck. Yeah, lack of commentary is sort of weird. And like putting music in it and, and like is kind of shitty. Pretty sure I reversed this. It's gonna happen. Okay. I gotta get back in the ring so I can do a diving moonsault from the top rope to the floor. And how do we do that? While on top turnbuckle, an opponent grounded in a supine position at ringside. Is that face down? Is that a supine? Is that what that means? Yeah. All right. Face up is super... Okay. And then they've got the card game and all this other horse shit in there, too. Anyway. I don't know. It's, uh, you know, the, the reviews have been kind to it. Um, and... It does, I mean, it, you know, it, it, it does seem like a big improvement over the game they were making a few years ago. Maybe it's, I mean, also it's very similar to the last one, which is not a surprise, right? Um, but, I don't, you know, 
I don't know. The the thing I'm looking for out of a wrestling game is not this. And I I don't think it's going to be that AEW game either. I think that'll probably even be less like like what I'm looking for. Uh, maybe it'll be a good video game, but in terms of just like what I'm trying to get out of wrestling, again, it's it's that storytelling. It's it's the it's all of that other stuff, you know. And um, to me, the gameplay in a wrestling game shouldn't resemble it. It, it shouldn't. It, it's they 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 pretend it's real. Is is the thing, right? You know, they they fill it full of meters and health meters and this and that and. But like wrestling logic is not, you know, it doesn't make sense. Uh, and it doesn't fit with the rules of a video game that you want it, that you want to be fair. You know, that you want to be balanced in terms of wins and losses and how you win, how you lose and, and, and everything else. Right. So like wrestling is a dance. Wrestling is a, is a choreographed thing between two people and so like to, there's i don't know but i don't think that's an interesting game either like uh, you know the the whole thing of like oh what if they made it so it was more like a rhythm game or or when you were getting hit you had to sell it properly and hit buttons to make sure that you were behaving appropriately after getting punched or all that other horse like i don't think that makes a fun video game either you know but but treating it like it's 100 percent real and that it's 100 percent legit fight um, especially in tag team matches where the whole rules of tag team matches of guys getting in and out of the ring and, and breaking up tags and, and then having to create video game rules around that where it's like, well, I mean, if this was a video game, I would just jump in the ring every single time and break up a pin. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? And so instead it's like, oh, well, you can only do it through so many times before this happens or this happens or you know, they, they create situations where you can't just for whatever reason, can't get in the ring to break up a pin. Um, and, and so like tag team matches have just always been fucking dumb <laughs> in, in, in video games. And yeah, I don't know. So like, it, it's, it's a weird thing. Like I, I don't, cause I, the, the thing I want, I don't think would actually be a good video game. And so I don't, I I'm not sitting here going like someone needs to do this. Why aren't they making a, a, a you know dancing game that looks like wrestling or you know whatever it is? Because I that's not going to be that fun either. You know what are you going to get to press buttons and then they're going to have a like what if they had a fully polygonal version of that match that played out, but only if you and another person did the rhythm game correctly the entire time. Otherwise, the moves all got all fucked up and somebody got hurt. No, no. Like yeah, sure you could do that, but I don't. So yeah, like I, you know, I think if you're gonna if you're gonna try to make it fit within video game rules and video game logic, go all the way. And WWE All Stars is a really good example of that, and that's just a really fun game. Um, and something more like that might be entertaining. I think the AEW game the, with the way that they talk about how they're really chasing after this whole Aki style thing. I don't think that I, I that's that's not really. I don't think that's what I'm looking for either. And you know, you kind of want it to be more over the top and crazier, like, like a WWE all-stars in a way that came out a weird combo system and juggles and all kinds of fucking weird shit. And it was just fun as a video game. And it happened to be about wrestling, you know, and these games, I don't think are fun as a video game. I don't think it's fun to play them. I don't think the like, Oh, I've got to beat this guy. Now I got to do this. And like, it's, especially like, you know, that you can see them trying to find reasons to you know, trying to give you reasons to vary up your attacks and vary up your style. Like, well, if you want to have a five star match, you need more move variety. You need more of this. You need more of that. And so they try and like, oh, if you really want to do well and not just win the match, then you kind of need to try and play it this way. And so it kind of shoves it in that direction a little bit, but not explicitly enough in some ways. Um, and so it just creates this weird middle ground. I don't know. It's just this this murky thing where I think that playing these games to win is not interesting. Playing these games to try and put on a real wrestling match, like it's not really built for that. The sways, the the momentum shifts and everything else, like just doesn't have that uh the way the way wrestling does on television. 
the way it's like, oh, well, you know, what buttons do I need to hit to like feed a comeback really well? Or, or, or like those sorts of things or, you know, just that wouldn't make sense, especially in this game, but in most games, you know, so I, I don't know. I don't know how you really try to capture the flow of, of professional wrestling in a video game. Cause I just don't think anyone has really done it. Um, a role playing game. Yeah. You, I mean, sure. What if it was a role playing game and you didn't have to do any of the like button combo stuff? Like maybe that's a way to go with it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's such a, it's such a weird niche product at that point. If you were doing like, okay, it's a wrestling RPG and you are part of a company, but you are not necessarily the booker. You are just being told to go out there and have a good match. And this is the finish. And, and you've got to go out there and try to have a good match, but not too good of a match. And it's got to be eight minutes long and it's got to be, you know, like, I don't know. There's, there's, there's probably something that someone could do, but I don't know that. I mean, well, whatever. It, it would not make sense for the flagship WWE video game to be that, right? The co the game that theoretically sells millions of copies or whatever, like that, they could not do that there. You know, we're, we're talking about a secondary thing at at most. Um, and so, for for when you think about the idea of oh, we've got to make something that appeals widely, broadly to the all ages WWE audience, like this does that, I think, right? I mean. People keep buying it, so they must at least sort of like it, even if they are increasingly frustrated by different aspects of it every year. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. It's it's. I, I feel like I've got the same complaints about wrestling games every single year, but also, I don't think that the thing... Yeah, yeah. Like I, I know I do. I do not think that that the thing I am asking for is a viable product especially at the scale that WWE operates at. Um, so it's, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, just, I don't think that, yeah, it's a John Silver dating sim. Yes. He has to eat and he has to date. That's it. Um, but you know, like for as much as I talk about all this, like, you know, oh, what if it did this? Behind the scenes? Like, you know, the, like people make all their management sims and, you know, like a football manager, but for wrestling, you know, people have tried to do that sort of thing here and there. I just, I don't think that's, I, I don't want to go and, and the A, the, that AEW mobile game was that too. Like the idea of trying to do a, a management sim thing where it's like, you've got this amount of money to recruit a roster and then you got to build a card and then you got to do this. And then, you know, but like at no point do you determine who the winners and losers are at no point do you determine like, oh, this is going to be the, the next bullet point in this story. And, and so like, who cares, right? You're just like, Oh, I've decided that this a rank guy is going to wrestle this B rank guy and that'll get the crowd going. And then after that, there'll be a promo. Do you script the promo? No. Do you say what the, pro no, not really. You just say there's a promo here and then you get X number of points for whatever you did. And then like that, that's not enough. Um, yeah, all all you need is Tecmo World Wrestling on NES. That's that's absolutely true. That game uh, it has amazing commentary, and uh, it is actually a pretty good game for what it is. It's no uh, tag team wrestling. It's no muscle tag team wrestling, but Tecmo World Wrestling is pretty good. Um. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I I think it would you know. I think, yeah, there's an aspect of it where it's like you kind of want to write the storyline stuff and you kind of want to do, or I want it to be full on arcade -y. Yeah, the that Midway arcade game, the WrestleMania arcade game that was digitized like Mortal Kombat. It's not a, it's not a good game, but it's cool. It's neat. Um, and then Acclaim did their home only follow up to it that was called In Your House. And it was like the wrestling rings were in weird backgrounds where it's like, here's a wrestling ring in the middle of the desert because the rattlesnake or, you know, or whatever. Um, that game was even worse. <laughs> I feel like those games were coming out. Like I was not watching wrestling at all when those games were coming out. Um, 
I had completely checked out in the, in the, I guess, early nineties, like that whole era of like Shawn Michaels ascension or, or whatever, but also like the, the occupational gimmick era of, of the WWF. I was just like, yuck. <laughs> like I just didn't watch any of that shit and kind of came back around when the NWO thing was or a little bit before that, like when things started getting hot again, because I, I had already started watching wrestling again when Scott Hall made the move. And so I was, I was kind of already watching week to week um, when that stuff happened. So that's when I kind of came back to it. And I don't know, I faded out again. I kind of came back around again in time for a lot of the CM Punk stuff. Um, and watched through most of Cena's run. I, there's some, some, some dark days there, storyline-wise. Some really rotten shit. Like, remember when they did the Playboy pay-per-view? Like, that whole... This is just a bad... There's a lot of dumb shit. Um... I watched that, uh, or I'm sorry, not the play, the, the Girls Gone Wild pay-per-view. I watched that recently. It is some of the most embarrassing record, it, 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 as like a thing that has been recorded. It is, it is, you look at it and you're like, man, how, anyone, anyone involved? I watched that live. I had, a, um, when that, when that happened, I watched that on actual pay-per-view when it aired, um, because I had a I had a box that would just let you watch what whatever. I think that's honestly that's why I started watching wrestling again is because I got a cable box that just had all that stuff unlocked, and I just I was like, man, I gotta watch wrestling because these these this would be like forty bucks if I, I mean, I'm throwing money away if I don't watch bootleg wrestling pay per views, and so I just started getting back into wrestling because I could. Um, I think that's what that's what led to it, but. Yeah, then we, yes, Pat, we, we watched the Curls Gone Wild pay-per-view again pretty recently. And um, it's abysmal. Like Test is in it and Stacey Keebler is in it, is in it right? And, and Snoop Dogg is in it. And Snoop Dogg's one contribution to it is he just, like he has a, like the, all these people have live microphones the entire time. And Snoop Dogg is one of the judges for like whoever Miss Girls Gone Wild is going to be or whatever. It's like who can suck off a banana the best. And Snoop Dogg's main contribution to it is that he just has this microphone. And I believe if I remember correctly, he has a, you know, a, a pimp cup because it was that era. It was the Don the Magic Wand era of Snoop Dogg. And he just has this microphone and he just, I apologize. He just says, bitch. Just every so often. That's just, he just says, bitch, and just like, get naked, bitch. You know, just like, it is just like, who, who planned this? Who planned for Snoop Dogg to have a live microphone this entire time? Why is this happening? Why is any of this happening? It's a, it's a really, it is, it, it's, I'd say it's worth watching because it's fucking, and there's some nudity in it. I'll warn you up front. Not as much as you would think, though, from a Girls Gone Wild pay-per-view, but it, it's, uh, there's a little bit here and there. And holy smokes, it is, I, I, it, I, like, I can't even do it justice. It, it, it's, it's so crazy that it exists and that it, uh, that, that, like, any, like, it just, it's a situation where you just look at it and go, Wow, everyone kind of wanted to be like everyone that was here probably kind of wanted to be here, but no one wanted to be there enough to like try to plan it out or make it better. Like whoever was producing it or whoever was trying to structure it as an event and be like, okay, we're going to have these girls come out and they're going to, I don't know, dance or whatever, or, you know, pretend to suck off a banana or, or whatever. I don't know, whatever their, whatever their talent is, we're going to have them do that. And then you know, we'll judge it and we'll pick someone at the end. And that's like as much as, as far as they got, they didn't stop to go like, okay. And then we'll, um, we'll go to the judges after, after this happens, then we'll go to the judges. Then we'll ask the judges. And so instead, no, all the judges have live mics the entire time. It's like takes place during spring break. So the whole crowd is fucking wasted. And it seems like everyone there is, you know, like, like is as well, except for maybe coach. 
Jonathan Coachman just fucking hanging on for dear life. Um, and it's it's just really fucking crazy television. It's the sort of stuff that like you look at and go like, God, I I don't know how this I don't know how this got made by like people that make television. You know, WWE, whatever you say about them, like they make hours of television every week. That has to be a fucking incredibly well oiled machine of like, all right. We got to get to this city. We got to build this fucking ring. We got to get this arena set up. The camera goes here, here, where this is the truck. We're going to sit in the truck. This is how we shoot our productions. You might not like it, but this is how we cut the cameras. This is, we're going to like, they fucking do it. Right. And so this thing is clearly not shot and produced by them. Uh, because th- I feel like they go in over prepared for stuff, at the, especially with all the shit they've seen over the decades of, of producing live television where they're like, okay, we know what to worry about here, here, and here, and, and, and whatever else. Instead, it felt like, oh, there's probably like a handful of WWE people there, but like really this is just them showing up to get a paycheck from the pay-per-view company and, and Girls Gone Wild or whatever else, and just like maybe the Girls Gone Wild people handled the production end or whatever, but god damn, it is, um, it, it, it is shocking how bad it is. And then now also all these years removed, um... You know, also it's aged poorly in a lot of other ways, and and it's just a really weird relic, um, a really weird relic from a really weird time. I guess is the yeah the two thousand yes Gaspar says two thousands was a rancid time. Just imagine Mind of Mencia at the top of the world. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, it's a, it's a, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, they should put that arena in in the game. They should put the Girls Gone Wild pay-per-view background in here. Um, and there was no... Duty, I, there, was, there was... I'm pretty sure there's... I'm pretty sure there's boobs in there. Pretty sure there's some boobs in the Girls Gone Wild pay-per-view special. But... um. Yeah, not from any of the wrestlers. Yeah, they they knew better. At least a party smasher six 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 for uh, signing up and s- subscribing. Uh, and uh, also, what else here? We got probably drinking. We've got Rooney two eight one, Gypsniz, Thunderwear, John, and uh, one sleepy panda, and uh, Ange and him, cousin from Boston. Nice. Who's six Oh six. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be winding it down here in a little bit and, um, I'll be back tomorrow to stream something else. I don't know what, um, but, oh, well, I guess the Diablo beta will be running, right? Also the exo primal open beta. So if those are working, maybe we'll check that shit out. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That's WWE 2K23. I certainly wouldn't recommend it, but uh, I don't know. Depending on what you're looking for out of a wrestling game, maybe it scratches that itch for you, but I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, it's uh, another year, another game, right? I mean, it's it's funny. For as much as they did kind of reboot it and improve the gameplay, and now, you know, they, they, they after they took that time off and, and everything, you're like, yeah. That's that's a much better game than it was, but it doesn't impact anything. It doesn't impact anything that I am looking for out of a wrestling game. So uh, it's cool that it's better uh, for people that, that care about that aspect of the you know of actually playing the video game. But until they put in a story creator, I feel shut out. I feel like I I don't have a good connection point to the WWE games. And so we'll see. I'd love for them to get back to that. Cause that'd be, Oh, that'd just be awesome. If they put that, if they just put that story creator from 2k 14, 13, whatever it was, if they just put that back into the game. Oh, if only we can hope, right? All right. Well, I'm going to get going. I hope you have a good rest of your Thursday and I'll, uh, like I said, I'll be back Friday morning with some more stuff. And uh, yeah, 
Have a good one.